In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the model of a car made in a previous tutorial in the Blender game engine. I'm opening the car that I made in a previous tutorial. I'm going to change the view to orthogonal and the view to the right view. I'm going to enter 180 in the Z rotation to flip the car around so it's facing in the positive Y direction. I'm going to do two things to try and make the car more stable. The orange dot is the origin of the mesh. It was the center of a cube that the car was extruded from, but it was extruded more to the front than to the back. So I'm going to go to the object menu, transform, origin to geometry, and that centers the origin. Now the origin is also used as the center of mass for the car in the game engine and if I lower the center of mass it will make the car more stable. To do that I'm going to go into edit mode, I'm going to press A twice to select all, G to grab, Z for the Z direction and move that up so that the origin moves down relative to the car and then go back into object mode. With the car selected, I'm going to the object menu, snap, selection to cursor, and that moves the car's location to the center of the grid. The car has rotation and scale values. If I go to the object menu, apply rotation and scale, they are reset. I'm going to do some work on the wheels, so I'm going to go into the view menu and change the view to the bottom view. I'm going to select a wheel, hold down shift, and select the other wheels. And I'm going to do Alt and P to remove a parent relationship and I'm going to choose a clear and key transformation option. I want to make a note of the Y value of the wheels, the Y location. The front wheels are, if I round it up, at a Y location of 1.29 blender units and the rear wheels, again rounded up, are at a location of minus 1.16, I need that for later. This wheel must be named tire with a capital T, R for rear, and D for driver, for right hand drive. This wheel must be called tire F for front, D for driver, capital T, tire R for rear, P for passenger, and finally, tire, F for front, P for passenger. Holding down shift, I'm going to select all four wheels, and I'm going to reset their rotation and scale values, but before I do that, I want to make a note of their X and Y scale, which is 0.31. So I'm going to the object menu, apply, rotation and scale. I'm going to change the view back to the right view. With the wheel selected, I can press G to grab and Z and move the wheels down. Select the car, G to grab and Z and move the car up. I'm going to rotate the view dragging with the middle mouse button. And I'm going to add mesh plane. And I'm going to press S to scale followed by 100 to make a big plane. I'm changing Blender Render to Blender Game. I'm going to select the car and I'm going to set its physics properties. I'm clicking the physics button and I'm changing the physics type to rigid body, ticking no sleeping, change the mass to 200, tick collision bounds and set the bounds to convex hull. Dragging with the middle mouse wheel to rotate the view, I'm going to select a wheel and change the physics type to no collision and do that for all four wheels. I'm going to call that the end of part one of this tutorial. In part two of the tutorial, I will bring in the Python scripts and add the logic bricks.